just a quick tutorial on how to how to 3D model one of these uh, airless basketballs. It doesn't have to be a, a basketball; it can be any ball um, for 3D printing purposes. Um, so basically, we printed one of these out in a smaller scale, but because it's being scaled in uniformly, um, the 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 thickness of the wall was too 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 small, so it broke. So I was looking around, trying some uh, some stuff in in CAD, but I didn't really get it to work. So I started playing around with Blender, and I found a way to how how to make this. Now it's not going to be exactly how uh, how the the airless uh, basketball, the Nike airless basketball is going to look, but uh, I think this looks a little a little more minimal, and I think it's going to be stronger. You're not going to have the lines, but um, yeah. Without further ado, let's let's get into the tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to start fresh. So as you can see, we're we're using Blender. If you don't have any previous knowledge of Blender, then um, yeah, I guess I would suggest going out and, and looking at tutorial uh, or just follow along. It's really not that hard. So we're going to create a new file and we're going to press uh, Shift A. We're going to add an icosphere. Now I found that um, anything between four and five subdivisions is going to work. Is going to work for us depending on the size of the ball. I want to make a ball that is about um, one twenty-five millimeters in diameter. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to say one point two five meters. Oh, hold on, one point two five meters divided by two. And that's going to give us a radius. I'm doing this this way because if I set it to millimeters, Blender really doesn't like that. So we're going to stick to meters in this case. So once we've done that, keep in mind you can choose whichever size you want for the ball. But uh, in this case, I want to make a smaller ball. Um, yeah, we're going to select the ball. And we're going to hit um, tab to go into edit mode. And from here, there we have two options. We can either inset the faces uh, to create a, a ball with with a triangular cutouts, or we can do um, we can do something to create a more classic hexagonal pattern um, for the insets. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, this way. But we're gonna do it uh, the other way uh, in just a second. So once you have selected everything, you want to go up here and select uh, and go to face select mode. So basically, you can see here I'm, I'm cycling through either uh, vertices, um, lines, or faces. We're going to select the faces. And if you, if you have unselected the face, you're going to press A to select everything again. At this stage, we can press I on the keyboard to inset the faces. Now, I think the, the standard setting is it's not going to do this. Uh, it's not going to work. At first, you're going to press I again. And then you got to be careful with the edges. You want to move your mouse very carefully. And once you get it to about this this point, you can press shift and then drag it to to control a little more precisely. So you want to get about a, 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 a uniform uh, thickness of the, the individual lines here. I think that looks good. Make sure not to unselect it here. And you're going to press X and delete the faces, delete only faces. This is what we're left off. We're left with. Um, you can either extrude it in edit mode, or what I like to do is go out here and add a modifier. So under under modifiers here, you're going to choose a solidify modifier. And we can set the thickness, in this case, I think a thickness of about an 8 millimeters or about a centimeter is going to be good. Because I'm scaling it with um, the factor of meters into consideration, I'm going to do... 0.08 and that's going to give me eight millimeters once we slice it um, in real life so this is one way to make a ball it's a little different to what you see on the internet but it's a it's a it's definitely a way to 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 go about it and it's a bit of a different design but we want to create a more classic looking ball so we're going to do the hexagonal cutouts um, so i'm going to delete this and we're going to go back Control c couple times okay this is where we're going to be at so 
what we're gonna go ahead and do is select everything again and you're gonna press Control B what we're doing here is we're creating a bevel throughout all the all the the faces and as you can see as I pull this out you're gonna you're gonna start to see the hexagons start to form um, you can play around you can even go ahead and do something like this and then maybe press Control I to to invert it and then you can delete these faces and then you have something that looks a little more crazy I mean it looks crazy when you look at it like here but once you're you're outside it's only triangles so it's not really that interesting we're gonna go back I'm gonna do the bevel again and you you're gonna you're gonna bevel it until you get to about to about this point where everything starts to become um, to become hexagon so you're gonna press uh, the left mouse button and that's gonna confirm the changes and uh, now we're left off with 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 this shape now if we zoom in you can see there's two lines here there's two lines here and we really don't want that so select everything again with a and then you're gonna press M to merge the vertices you're gonna choose by distance and as you can see here it already did it for me uh, for you it's probably gonna be here at however many meters this is and what you want to what you want to do is you just want to press shift and then move it to the right and then as soon as you've removed 10,240 vertices that's when you know you're done it you can move it further and you're gonna you're gonna start to see when it becomes a little crazy so just move it when it's to when it's removed a, a large chunk of the vertices but not so far that it's removed unnecessarily too many of them so this way we just have one line on, on every on every edge so we can exit well we can't exit we can now inset the faces just what we did before so we're going to press i and press i again depending on if you've already done it um but yeah you now you have to play around and, and, and look at how how thick you want the the walls i'm mean, the walls the lines outside of the of the holes to be in this case i think something like like this i think maybe a little smaller something like this it's going to look good press x and delete the faces and then we can exit and we can add the solidify modifier so well, let's do our classic eight millimeters and now you can see we have a ball and we have some thickness to the ball and uh, this is pretty much it um, as I said you can try out some other designs the icosphere is pretty help pretty helpful when it comes to creating this uh, specific pattern now it's not gonna be completely perfect like you can see here there's uh, a few uh, this looks like a pentagon so it's not gonna be uh, all hexagons but um, you know for the most part I think it's a pretty good um, and pretty easy way on how to make one of these guys um, especially if you want to create a smaller ball now a small tip that I can give you is when you when you export it out of, of blender it's gonna have a wild scale it's probably not gonna be scaled to exactly how you want it to in the slicer so what you can do here is you can add a little cube um, and just move it to the right or whatever and this is just gonna be your scale cube so we can say maybe I don't know we can dimension it to be about one meter in this case and uh, if you do that once you export it once you import it into uh, your slicer you can have a more a more an easier way on how to scale it because you can choose this uh, this length as opposed to trying to select two points uh, on the ball to scale it to the appropriate uh, scale so now um, the way to export it from Blender, you're going to go up here over to File and you're just going to go over to Export and export it as an STL. So now we're in the slicer and as I said, it's helpful to have this, um, this cube here so we can do what we can do here is we can measure this line. Well, maybe, wait a minute. 
what you want to do is measure two points. I think it's it just it only works like that. Yes, you can see. I'm gonna edit edit that. Basically, what we said is one meter is going to be equal to 100 centimeters. So basically, what we want to do is make this 100 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And you can see that it has applied the correct scale. So then we can go out of um, of the measure tool and we're going to click and we're going to uh, we're going to choose the split option to objects and then you have two separate objects. Yeah, and we can delete the cube. We can delete the cube and now we have our ball properly scaled to the appropriate dimensions that we set it to. And now we can check whether that whether, whether it worked. It's not going to be as accurate, but uh, roughly. So you can see it's about 120, 23, 125. It's what we, we scaled it to. So it's pretty good. And let's see the thickness of the wall. I'm I'm not very really trusting of Blender when it comes to when it comes to things like that. But let's see. So it's exactly eight millimeters. So you can see Blender can be trusted. So yeah, let's uh, slice it up and see how it looks. So I've let the ball slice, and uh, as you can see, we have a pretty thick wall, which is what we wanted, and it looks pretty good. Of course, you want to add some supports down here. But it looks like it's going to be printing in 19 hours with uh, some bamboo TPU. Now, of course, if you want it to actually bounce, don't print it with TPU. But uh, we want this ball to be sort of uh, thrown around and we don't want to break anything. So it's really not that important that it bounces. It's more important that it doesn't break things. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks uniform. It looks like it's going to print well. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and um, yeah hopefully you can create some balls it's a weird to say balls so many times but yeah um, that's all from my side and uh, thank you for watching